today we're going to be talking about... I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! As I was saying, we're going to be talking about the three main classes. The three main classes are Cumulus class, Stratus class, and CS class. So we're going to start with... Um, we're filming. As I was saying, we're going to be starting with the Cumulus class. Ta-da! Cumulus clouds are fluffy and they have a flat bottom. Cumulus clouds are generally found at a height less than 1,000 meters or 20 or 3,300 feet in altitude. Cumulo means heap or pile in Latin. Like a heap of mashed potatoes? Moving on, our next cloud is the stress cloud. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because I'm the stratus cloud and I have to let my rain out. Stratus clouds are low-level clouds. They also have a ragged appearance and an irregular shape. Sometimes when stratus clouds are near to the ground, we call it fog. Stratus clouds are 3,500 feet or 2,000 meters off the ground. Fun fact, they look like huge, thick gray blankets in the sky. Our next cloud is the cirrus clouds. Cirrus means a curly lock of hair. That's how we remember that they are wispy clouds. Cirrus clouds are 20,000 feet or 6,000 meters off the ground. These are the highest clouds in the sky. If you were wondering what a cloud is, I will tell you. A cloud is a visible mass of condensed water vapor floating in the atmosphere, typically high above the ground. And that's the three main clouds. <laughs> Today we're going to make a cloud in a jar. First we're going to need a mason jar, 50 milliliters of boiled water, some ice, an aerosol spray, and a black poster. First, place 50 milliliters of boiled water into the jar. Swirl around the glass to warm it up. Place the lid on the jar. Place ice on the cap of the jar. Spray some aerosol spray. Here's what's happening in our jar. The water is very hot in our jar and is evaporating. As water evaporates, its, stain its state changes from a liquid to a gas. The hot gas called water vapor rises to the top of the jar. The top of the jar is very cold because of the ice. This causes the water vapor to condense. The condensed water vapor attaches to the particles in the air from the aerosol spray and forms a cloud. In nature, the same actions occur. Water evaporates from the ground and rises into the atmosphere. As the air in the atmosphere becomes colder, the water vapor begins condensing. The water vapor attaches to the particles in the air and forms a cloud. And this is our 